Hey everyone, welcome back to Channel High News for our evening segment. Tonight, our first guest explores art in the age of Corona. I'd like to welcome Josh Kesselman. Hey Josh. Thanks for having me, Jared. Now is a great time to get creative with the Kush. What do you got for us today? Did you make some ridiculous shit? Ridiculously awesome. All right, Jared, check this out. We took a, an off-road remote controlled truck. We hooked on a reverse blowing electric pump. So that way we can now drop in our foot long supernatural and smoke out the whole room as we drive around in circles. But here's how I want to show you some of the, where the creative use of a pen comes in. See so if we drop it in here, look, see, it doesn't fit, right? Now I could, I could make a sleeve out of different things, but here's what we normally do. We simply take a business card, hopefully you have one as cool as mine, and then we roll it around a pen. Now rolling around a pen is a great thing. In fact, I'm going to show you more about this in a second because pen rolling is actually a great way for beginners to learn how to roll. So we roll it around a pen just to curve it. We stick it in as a sleeve, let go, and now, look, now it's going to fit perfectly. Watch this thing crinkle. You see? Wrinkles all the way up. It is ready to go. Now I'm going to teach you more about the pen. You ready? And now I'm going to show you how to roll with a pen. This is called the half pen technique. Not anything I've ever shown before, but it's a great training method. So here's what, here's what I want you to do. Grab your pen and roll your paper around it. This is just to train you to show you how easy rolling really can be. So look, when you have your paper around the pen, I want you to notice something. When you do this at home, you're going to see like, wow, it's so easy to roll when I'm rolling around a hard form like a pen. Yes, that's true. And I want you to learn from that. So the first part is just roll it around the pen. The second part is do that again, but this time only have the pen halfway in like this. Okay. And again, if you just concentrate on the pen part, you're going to find that it just rolls up nice and easy. As long as you roll between your fingers, again, it just rolls right up. You have one hand free. You can use that to adjust the paper and make it even smoother. Now here's part three. Part three is to do the same thing, but this time we're going to roll it part way to about here. And we're going to, this is called our boat. And we're going to add material into the boat, just like that. Okay, cool. Now push this down enough that it'll kind of form into a little bit of a form. You don't want it too tight though, because um, we're going we're gonna to tighten it afterwards. So you want to get it kind of medium tightness. Push it down a little bit, but not too much like that. And now all I want you to do is the same thing we did before. Just roll it up. Now concentrate on the pen part. You have one hand free. You can use this. Look, the paper's turning a little bit. No big deal. I can move it. I can do anything I want with this because I've got a free hand and I'm just rolling it between these fingers here. It's like, um, I don't like I think it's like when you make dough. <laughs> okay. So now we're just going to roll up, concentrating on the pen, concentrating on the pen, concentrating on the pen. I've got this hand free to manipulate the paper. I can pull the paper. I can do anything I want. As I get to about here, it's time to stop and lick it. But before I do that, I want to make it a, a wrinkle on purpose like this. Oh no, what do I do? All you got to do is pull. Hold it tight here, hold it here and pull. Do you see that? Once you do that, it makes it, it makes the paper straighten out. It makes it even easier for it to roll. All right. So now it's time to lick it. Hold on. Okay. Run your finger along the outside of the gum line here, down to here. Doing this makes the gum line stick about three times stronger and then just slide it off. Okay, so now you have this part ready. Now, here's what I want you to do next. Let's put this down for a second. We're going to take a tip. Now, I already rolled this one up. Whenever you roll up a tip, it, it recoils. So when, I, when you slip it in, it's going to get bigger and kind of puff and fit right into place. You see that? But of course, we have this gap here. So what do we do? Use your pen that you started with and just kind of push it in. Be gentle, of course, but watch. It pushes the tip all the way up to the top. Get it nice and tight, not too tight because you don't want to push the material out of the top. And we are done. Now we take this excess material. Actually, first let me push down with the pen on top to get it a little bit packed, a little bit better. Okay. Now we take this excess material we have here and just tear it off. There we go. Now I have this nice little smoke ready to go. Now that was part two, right? Or part three. I don't know. Doesn't matter. The thing is, now you learned how to roll a small one. What I want you to do next is repeat the same steps. Watch this. Look what you do. First, we start off with a small one. Then we're going to slide the pen out. I'm not going to keep doing this. So I'll keep you here all day. You're going to use less of the pen each time. So the next time you do it, first time was half. The second time was here. The third time is here. Once you get, once you're able to roll with just a short amount of pen, that is essentially the length of a tip and you already know how to roll. So at that point, you can stop using the pen and just switch to using a tip. Now you guys know how to roll with a pin. <laughs> pen. <laughs> Happy 420. Wow, Josh, that's really amazing. You see, Jared, 
DIY is the way to roll, man. You'd be surprised how easy it is to roll just using household items. <laughs> Creative time for the whole family. Hey, speaking of family, I gotta bounce, man. I gotta go make more TikToks with my fam. Thank you, Josh. Now, let's touch base with our ultimate social media guru, Lane. This is how I'm dealing with quarantine. Seriously, I've been to the dispensary way more than I've been to the grocery store. Weed's always been essential. And back to you, Jared. Thank you so much, Lane. Now, the coronavirus is serious. It's having drastic impacts on our economy and has brought social inequities to the forefront. Here we have our weedonomist, Max Simon. Max? Thanks, Jared. What we're seeing right now has never happened in our lifetime. Businesses across the country are shuttering. Millions of people are out of jobs. And now we see which businesses are essential and which ones are not. That's no joke. Max, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone working at the front line during this time. Like weed companies, for example, Jared. How were we deemed essential, but also illegal at the same time? It's a paradox. Paradox? Yes, this pandemic is really shedding light on an existential crisis, Jared. Existential? It's the meaning of life, Jared. It was my understanding that you were going to give us some hope. Oh yeah, there's definitely hope, Jared. This has started to shed light on the positive nature of cannabis and this industry. It provides jobs. It helps to heal people. It allows people to reduce their stress and anxiety. It does a tremendous amount of good for society, Jared. But when you step back and go deeper, it begs the question, do we even exist? Does life matter at all? Or are we just swirling beings of energy waiting to meet our ultimate demise? Where's the silver lining in all of this, Max? Great question, Jared. The silver lining in all this is that it's allowing us to come together as a society to work together for the greater good. And when I say together, I really actually mean we're still mostly alone because 99% of the material world is really just empty matter and empty space, and we're just floating around as individual particles in a sea of nothingness. We are truly just lonely vessels of energy and intention, and all these things like jobs and money and desire and hope they're just empty constructs when you really think about them. At the end of the day, there's really nothing. Or maybe it's everything. We don't really know. Okay. That was a really wonderful silver lining, Max. You gonna be okay, though? Well, the future is definitely going to be changed, Max. I know our community is optimistic that it'll be for the better. Weed Smokers of America, it has been an absolute honor for Blazy and I to bring you the special edition of Channel High News from myself and all of our High Witness News affiliates from our High Grade Hope mentors and everyone here at Chronic Relief. Stay safe, stay healthy, and puff puff, but don't pass. I'm Jared Mursky. Good night. Say good night, Blazy. Say good night.